Lorraine Eden, and I'm honored to receive a Literati Look Back Award for the article that Susan Gupta and I wrote called Culture and Context Matter, Gender and International Business and Management, which was published in the journal Cross-Cultural and Strategic Management in 2017. My article and subsequent research on gender inequality, SDG 5, argues first that gender inequality is a wicked problem. Second, we have to deal with the problem. We can't solve it, but we do have to deal with it. The three, taking an evidence-based approach to policymaking, one that prioritizes collecting good data, is an essential first step in coping with the wicked problem of gender inequality. I'd like to provide you with a little bit of personal context to my research on gender inequality by telling you a bit about my own family background. This, I believe, helps explain why I care about gender inequality and the need to create a society that is just, inclusive, and embracing of all. I was born and raised in Canada. I'm the eldest of three children. My father was an engineer. My mother was a stay-at-home mom. When I was eight years old, my father was blinded in a freak accident. He was in the hospital for six months. Overnight, everything in our lives was turned topsy-turvy and it was never the same again. We went from a secure middle-class income to no paycheck. What happened? Well, in the short term, people volunteered to help, even strangers. For example, that first Christmas, the local TV station sent us Christmas dinner. A local missionary couple took care of us after school and all those many months when my mother was at the hospital. In the long term, my parents and we three children learned to cope and to adjust. Before my father had the accident, my mother couldn't drive. She received a weekly allowance from my dad. She did not have signing authority to pay the bills. She learned to drive. She took over the bills. She got a job as an insurance secretary. With the accident, my father saw his career end overnight. Nobody wanted to hire a blind engineer. So they reversed roles. My father stayed at home. My mother went to work. Both he and all three of his kids learned how to cook. <laughs> Our family survived and we thrived. My mother became active in several women's groups, including being one of the inaugural members of the very first status of Women Commission for the province of New Brunswick. My father became active in creating rights for the blind and for the disabled, such as the ability to take a guide dog on a bus. It's probably not surprising, therefore, that I've shared a long run interest in gender diversity and inclusion. The tragedy my parents faced when I was a child has affected my research and my professional life in multiple ways. I wanna share a couple of the lessons I've learned. First, no woman should be 100% dependent on a man for her welfare and security. Bad things do happen to good people and through no of their own, and they can happen overnight without warning. Women need an education so they can support their families. Second, there is nothing fixed about gender roles in work-life balance. Gender reversal roles can and do work. Both women and men can raise successful families. Third, jobs of equal value 